George, you began working at a food manufacturing company straight out of college. Since then, you've accumulated tens of years of experience as a professional manager in the food and beverage production, strong focus in maintenance and reliability. As he moved into leadership positions, he's dedicated a huge portion of his job teaching others and producing high-performing teams. George believes in producing and building high-performing teams to get high-performing results. And now, George, I I know this, but you currently work at Facebook as the Global Facility Operations Lead. Welcome, George. (laughs) Thanks, Ryan. Super excited to be here and talk to you for a minute. Of course. Yeah, I mean, we've known each other for the past two, three years. It's been so exciting watching you on your journey. I know a bunch about your background, but, you know, our audience and listeners may not. So maybe we could start things off and you could share a little bit about yourself, your background, and how you got to become the uh, global operations lead at Facebook. Absolutely. So my background is mechanical engineering. Uh, Went went to school. I really wanted to figure out how things worked. I'm like, hey, you know what? What better way to do it than being a mechanical engineer and know all the nooks and crannies of different types of things. And so I envisioned myself sitting behind a desk working on AutoCAD and just doing a whole bunch of designs for some company in the future. Uh, little did I know that I was was going to graduate with that degree and go straight into a, a, a food and beverage company, a pr- pretty large one, actually. And, you know, I, I basically went to and started on second shift. I was like, man, what did I get myself into? You know, I, uh, you know, I was running a, a, sm- a small operation on, on the back shift, you know, it was like a 4 p.m. to 4 a.m., you know, and, and, and it was like, man, this is this is tough. And then obviously, you know, three months into it, like, hey, George, we have another opportunity for you. So I got to go into operations and then run a, a department on a processing line and did a couple of those production roles where I quickly found out that, man, like our maintenance team has a lot of opportunity to make sure that my equipment is always running. And so, you know, I sat down with my manager and said, hey, George, you know, like, well, why don't, why don't we uh, give you the opportunity? I'm like, all right, you know, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I didn't know anything about reliability. I didn't know anything about like preventative or predictive maintenance, but I knew that I needed to improve maintenance in my, uh, in my department. So, you know, got the opportunity to be, to be a maintenance supervisor, eventually a maintenance manager. Um, this was all within the same organization. And then eventually I got the opportunity to, uh, to go into a director of maintenance reliability for this organization. And, you know, like what I would say like was an awesome learning experience was really bridging and connecting people together. You know, just seeing the opportunities that people were doing some very great things. They were doing a lot of best practices, but the visibility to that across the organization was was pretty low. Um, You know, got the opportunity to to help bridge those connections. You know, we developed some very awesome programs to help scale up some some maintenance people that were really interested in kind of developing their careers. And so we did like an apprenticeship program. Uh, eventually, I, uh, you know, left that organization and went and joined an alcohol uh, company, which uh, that was a really cool experience, and kind of got to set up the same thing. You know, they were really needed to have a, some, some focus areas around reliability and asset management, and, uh, you know, we were able to help set, set up some foundation, and, and actually, that's where we introduced uh, the, the upkeep product and getting our, our entire organization under, uh, under one CMMS versus using spreadsheets and whiteboards and you know what what have you you know that was that was awesome you know got to work with with ryan's team you know eventually you know moved on and you know now working for this uh social media company and you know just working on getting some foundational items set up here and 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 having a lot of fun doing it that sounds awesome what a what an amazing story um starting your career as a mechanical engineer and then just somehow getting into this space of maintenance and reliability must have been a must have been a fun, crazy journey for you, uh, especially working at this uh, small social media company now, right? <laughs> for sure. And, you know, I would say, like, if anything, like, earlier in my career and, and even today is just, it's all about the people that, you know, I was able to learn a lot of great, awesome experiences from and a lot of great um, exposure, just what those opportunities are and just, you know, helping people, uh, helping people solve problems. It's, it's yeah. Can you share with all of our listeners the ways that they could connect with you and watch you follow you along your journey? For sure. Yeah. I'm on, I'm on LinkedIn, uh, George Parada, Facebook. If you want to go, go down that route, I'm pretty active on social media, on Instagram. So yeah, no, definitely uh, feel free to reach out. If there's any follow-up questions, you want me to dig a little bit deeper into some of these things I said, uh, be happy to, uh, happy to uh, chat some more. 